zippity doo -dah. Beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. As you can see behind me, I'm hanging out here at the Yacht and Beach Club here in Walt Disney World. Now, what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to share with you how to stop prices from going up. Now, currently gasoline is about $2.45 a gallon. However, let's say that the price jumped up, let's say 3%. Uh, we would jump to, to, to $2.52. Doesn't sound like much, huh? Now, what if our taxes went up 3% though? Most of us would be pretty upset, wouldn't we? So if you were making, let's say, $25,000 a year and taxes jumped up 3%, that means that you would be spending an extra $750. Now, what would you do with that extra $750? <laughs> I'm sure quite a lot of things that we could do with that money. Now, let's say instead of just jumping up 3%, that it jumped up 3% per year for the next 10 years. That means that we, we would be spending an, an additional $7,500 on our taxes. Now we're not talking about a tax hike here, but you are losing 3% per year through inflation. Now if you come over to YouTube, there's a I Love Lucy episode called The Fashion Show, which aired in 1955. And the plot of this whole show is that Lucy uh, wants to buy a, a very expensive dress from a Beverly Hills fashion designer. Uh, but the dress is $500, and Ricky goes crazy about how expensive it is. Now, according to dollartimes.com, $500 in 1955 is over $4,000 in our modern money. Now, if Lucy would have bought this dress just one year later, it would have only cost her another $1.87. So that same dress, just one year later, was $501.87. Now, two years later, in 1957, that exact same dress would have cost her $516.87. Now what if she bought this dress just 10 years later in 1965? She would have had to pay an additional $84.26 for the exact same dress that she had got in 1955, but she would have paid less. And again, it's because the value of our money decreases. Now you might ask, why does this happen and what can you do about it? Now, in 1971, President Nixon took us off what is called as the gold standard, which means if America didn't have the gold, they couldn't print the cash. So, in 1971, President Nixon put us on what is called as a currency, uh, and particularly it's called a fiat currency, uh, meaning it's fake money. It's not backed up by gold or silver or anything like that. Gold and silver is called God's money. Fiat currency decreases in value. Now, this gave America the ability to print their own money, which would seem to give us unlimited wealth. However, as we all know, the more that we have of something, the less valuable it becomes. So we need more money to buy the stuff we need. Now, on average, our money loses about 3% per year. Some years more, some years less. So prices don't really go up. It's just that the value of our money has gone down. Now, paper money is what is called as a fiat currency. Now, on the other hand, it would take as much gold to buy that dress in 1955 as it does today. Now, gold and silver and precious metals are what is called as God's money. It's real money. Now, it takes as much gold to buy a loaf of bread as it did in 1955 as it does today as it did 2,000 years ago. Gold does not lose its value. It's just that when gold prices go up, it's the val value of our money that is really going down. Now on May 18th, 2005, gold was $416 an ounce. And today gold is $1187 an ounce. Now many of us were taught by our parents to save money. So I'm not gonna suggest you to do anything else than you're normally used to doing, but I'm just gonna suggest that you, that you change the way that you're doing it. Now again, when you save money, you're really losing 3% per year. Now gold is not an investment because Gold does not increase in value. It's just that our money decreases in value. Now the problem is gold is very, very expensive. Usually many brokers require a minimum of a five to $10,000 investment because they treat it as it's an investment when really it is a savings plan to protect yourself against inflation. So the solution is buying gold in smaller amounts. So maybe you can't afford to buy it by the ounce, but you could afford to buy it by the gram. Now there's a company called Carrot Bars, and what it is, is a company that puts gold on basically like a little credit card, like you'll see below directly underneath this video, and they just stick a gram of gold right there on the credit card itself. 
and you can get a gram of gold for about 50 bucks, somewhere in that range, depending on what the price of gold is for the day. So since you're buying gold in smaller amounts, you can use gold as a savings plan. Now the reason that we can do this is Carrot Bars is a bank. Now my job is not to convince you, but to help you to get results. So I want you to do all your due diligence, do all the research, do everything that you need before you start putting money into your account. So stop losing the value of your money and open up a free Carrot Bars account as you will see down below directly underneath this video. Now again, if you look down below directly underneath this video, you'll find all the resources and everything that you need. You'll find a link of how to go ahead and set up your free account. There's no money required to set up an account, so uh, be sure that you do open up your free account. Now underneath this video as well, you also see a video on how to start buying gold. Now just think back all the years that you saved money, all the things that your parents have told you. Save money, save money, save money. What if you were doing this all along? Just think about how much further ahead you would be. So again, you'll find all the details and everything that you need down below directly underneath this video. Now on average, our money loses about 3% per year. Some years more, some years less. 